Well, I was born into a Catholic family. I had an older brother, younger sister, two younger brothers. We were not religious at all. We, we went to church maybe once a year. I don't ever remember my dad ever going to church. So it was really, I actually knew nothing about the Lord growing up. I, the only time I ever heard Jesus' name was like in a curse word. I think my dad, I think he was a good man. He was in the Navy very young, came out and he worked morning to night. So he didn't really have much time for anything else. High school was kind of a blur. I would brag that I never took a book home and got C's, and I thought that was such a great accomplishment. One of my friends, uh, Anthony, two guys I grew up across the street from, Rob and Ray, they were young when they got married and they moved to Pennsylvania. And another guy I met, John, and, and he moved, and John, Ray, Robbie, and a few other guys, they were gonna start a band up in Pennsylvania. But as so happened, John, John, I believe, was the first one started reading the Bible. And eventually each, each of them started reading the Bible, and somehow it filtered to me what they were doing. We were living at the farm. We would do our jobs, read, read the Bible, do our jobs, have enough money to live on for maybe a month or so till the money ran out. I think we were trying to be uh, self-righteous, trying to be, I think we thought we were the only ones doing things to earn our salvation. Smoking pot was a big deal to, to me at that time and reading the Bible. And so I was kind of amazed what I was reading. I never heard, it was just amazing what I was reading. I was reading the gospel. I, had, I actually started looking at children's Bible and regular Bible and trying to put it all together to understand what I was reading. I would question everything. I, I questioned a priest, I questioned a Jew, Jewish people, Muslim, whoever I could find, I would question, you know, about their faith. So, and I would take trips. In the 70s, it was easy to hitchhike around the country. So I took a lot of trips that way. I used to think that by hitchhiking with no money, it would show God that I'm trusting in Him. You know, it was, it was like a, you know, this was a, like a work. This was like, you know, this was something that, to show God that I was trusting Him. I remember I went to a desert Big Bend, Texas is a desert. Seeing that Jesus was in the desert for 40 days, 40 nights, I, I went to that desert and I remember how, what a, what a weakling. And in the second day I was hitchhiking out of there, I, you know, I thought, you know, I stay here, I'm just gonna die here. Somehow I was on the beach at Hollywood, Florida, and, and about 10 students came down and, and they were just trying to talk to everybody about the Lord. And, and they came up to me and I thought, this, is, this would be fun to be able to talk to them. You know, this, this is gonna be interesting. And, uh, and then the people in Hollywood, Florida, it was more like, I thought I was gonna just play along with them. And, and, and uh, you know, then, then I thought maybe I should try to help them. And they were trying to help me. And we, we were just debating, going back and forth. From what I, you know, I know now, of course, that, and I didn't know then that you know, God came to earth as Jesus and died for us to save us, to give us, to give us salvation. And, and I could do nothing on my own to earn that. He did it all. You know, I could only accept that gift that he gave. And, 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 you know, and I didn't know that. We talked and talked halfway through the night. And, and uh, I realized that, that they were, they knew something, that they had something that I was missing. I, I kind of sensed that, I, I think. And that night when I was back alone, I, I know I got on my, my, my knees. That, that night, I, I wish I wrote it down what day it was. It was early 70s, but I know, I, I just prayed that God would, if you would, if I'm wrong, that you would open my eyes and, and help me see. And, and it was that night that my eyes were really opened. I think 
the Lord sent those kids from Hollywood Bible College to me. I think he's seen that I was sincere in what I was doing, but I was, I was mixed up. I was screwed up in thinking that I could do this on my own. I, I, you know, I, I can earn my salvation. And, and it changed everything when I realized that Jesus did it all. And then, and then all I thought about was all the friends I had back in Pennsylvania on the farms, I had to get back there to tell them what I just learned that, you know, now I believe I belong to Jesus and, you know, nothing's going to change that. And now I have to explain it to, the, to, to everyone. The most amazing thing about, as I think back, I have no memory of from Hollywood, Florida back to Pennsylvania. I, I remember a lot of trips. I remember a lot of the rides. I remember a lot of things that happened. I don't remember how I got from Hollywood, Florida, back to Pennsylvania. But all of a sudden, well, I, my next memory right now is thinking I was in the middle of the living room and I was telling him about what Je that Jesus did it all and that we, we, we cannot do nothing to earn our salvation. And John's had two sisters, two younger sisters, one named Pam. She knew exactly what I was saying was you know, that, and I, and I think others did too, but I know she did because she became my wife in 1976. 79, we had our first son, 82 the second son, 84 the third son, Mikey Chris David. I knew that we, we had to, to, you know, tell our boys about our lives, about the Word of God, it would be the Bible, that Jesus did it all for them. I think I did a lot of things wrong as a father, but some people might say, well, you know, when you did this wrong, you did that wrong, or you did whatever, but, but, you know, I would always run back to Jesus no matter what I did. I think it was ingrained in me that the, the Lord always wanted me to tell people what he did for me, which I did. I, I told wherever, you know, I I I might have I might have missed a few, but I think almost everybody who knows me knows I told them about the Lord. You know, from from work, from sports, from poker, from uh, you name it in my life. That things that I did and all the hobbies I had, I think I tried to tell about the Lord what He did for me. You know, I there, there's a. There's a verse in Proverbs, uh, um, he who wins souls uh, covers a multitude of sins. And it's one of my favorite verses because I need a multitude of sins to be covered. <laughs> and he covered them. There's things I know that are coming that the earth is gonna have no more curse someday and our bodies will have no more sin. Everybody who belongs to Jesus will be together for all eternity. So it's uh, the best is yet to come.